I'm Barry from Sunken Mine Railroad, and today I'm going to talk about flocking uh, the Marklin housing to simulate the look of the packaging for the top of I've been working on. This is the some of the added detail videos I'm going to be doing upcoming, and uh, this is something I've never seen anybody do. Maybe there's some videos, but uh, specific each Marklin uh, building came, or maybe it still comes with a bag of this material, which is called flocking. It's basically colored lint. I've opened some of it up and put it into this container and it looks, you know, just like what it looks like. It's just little pieces of tiny lint. I've got some, uh, some of the tools I'm going to use. I'm going to use some scissors. I've got some nail clippers, uh, tweezers, Q-tips, uh, and I've got Elmer's glue as well as some uh, neat bushes I bought from uh, my local hobby store um, and some different detail elements I'm going to put on the buildings to make them look a bit more realistic. It, it, little, it adds nice color to the layout. Um, in addition, um, I'm going to put some little bushes on and, and different things to make it look cool. Eventually I'll do people and I've got some tiny people and I've got cars. So this is sort of the, it, it, if you know that your hobby is never actually done. So this is just um, another in the series. So I've got some buildings I'm going to test on. Um, I started using this glue here earlier, and it's it looks nice, but it's a little bit um, it's a little bit thin. So I think what I'm going to do is is use some Elmer's glue on a Q-tip and and use that again to test to see how it applies and how it looks on the building. This stuff will will dry clear. If you want to thin it down a little bit, you can do that with rubbing alcohol. Um, so if I was going to put some bushes. You know, here in the corner, I might dab a little bit of that there and then pick up some material and see if it sort of sits in there. So to apply it, push it into the glue a little bit, and there you go, an instant bush. So, so that's kind of cool. Um, looking at some of the Marklin photos, we've got the apartment building. You can see there's some bushes around it. Here's the, uh, I'm sorry, that's, yeah, here's the bigger apartment building, the city apartment building. This is, I guess, a fall color. And then the earlier photo has um, something that's a little bit more spring-like. I'm probably going to do it, do this um, and add a little bit of detail. So interesting to note that the, the Durnow station did not have, doesn't have any, and you wouldn't expect uh, flowers, I guess to be at a train station, but I think you might see some bushes and things. So this is just going to be something on a free form um, and have some fun with. So let's do some more testing and make sure that this actually is going to work because I don't really want to have to try to remove this stuff. It'll be really difficult to do. So here's some glue. A little bit on the edge there we go again it dries clear so you can be ge generous with it and you just sprinkle this on and press it into the glue Force it in a little bit. And I'm going to tip out the other stuff. So, not too bad. Looks a little bit, just adds some nice color. Let's see if I can back it up a little bit. All right. So, let's start with some of the houses. I think what I would do is put some some detail on the sides.
Nice little rose bush there. Okay, just add some nice detail. Some flower tufts. Let's see if I can get that centered. There we go. It really, it really does add some nice color to the layout. I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm really uh, pleased the way it's turning out already, which is kind of cool. Some more bushes in here. This one, it's supposed to be self-adhesive, but this is kind of dried out. That's really nice. Everybody likes flowers. Feel a bit like Bob Ross here, right? Got some happy flowers. Right now I'm going to do the apartment buildings. Guess we put a couple of small bushes in front of the front door, make it pretty. Not too bad. They're a little bit big, but there we go. This looks a lot like the photograph, to be honest with you. I was just sitting here just sort of pressing it onto the glue. It's a little haphazard, but it's okay. Some of that off. There we go. Glue dries clear, so you're not going to see it once it's dry. Just trying to get it on here in a nice, so it doesn't look too distracting, but it sort of gives you the effect that, hey, people are putting flowers up. It's starting to look a lot like the photo. Let's throw some, some flowers up there.
pretty happy with the results. Put some on the sides, and then I'll be done with this building. And I'll, um, I'll put in some trees, and that'll be the end of the video. Because this is probably tedious as heck to watch. There's some more. I'm really, really pleased with it. So let's put some trees on. I've got these uh, these little tiny trees. Some are these are supposed to be cotton bushes in HO scale, but they they look kind of to me like cherry trees. So you got to remember that a Z scale figure one and two twenty is really tiny, like like super super tiny like that's that's a z-scale person so it's about half the length of my fingernail so i gotta be careful i'm not putting giant massive things on here so i got this cool glue gun off of uh, one of the websites and i think what i'm gonna do is, is glue some trees and bushes in place um, and add a little bit more uh, shrubbery and stuff so this would be a really huge tree so i'll put that in the corner well and we'll put one of these red ones on the other side this is the stuff that really brings out the detail of the scale Great. I'll we'll put one on this side and then we'll call this building done for now. Oops, where'd it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Let's try this again. hot glue already dried so I gotta cut that off and do it again let's try that again you'll put the glue on the house and dip this thing in it there we go Kind of a nice apartment building now. It'll look good on the layout. So I'm going to sit and finish the rest of my houses and add some nice detail. Thank you for watching today.